So maybe you've checked in because you've taken part in this week's quiz and you want to find out what it all means. Or perhaps you have an idea of what psychodrama is and what psychodrama workshops are, but you're not quite sure. Or possibly you don't believe that if somebody's in one mood, a depressed state, that it's possible to change. So today I'm going to answer all of those questions I want to thank you for taking part in the quiz. So, first of all, earlier this week, we posted up our mood meters because we've been doing drama workshops in our schools and everything is, um, we use mood meters for everything. We use mood meters in our drama workshops and we use them for our mentoring programs. So we asked you, the first question was for you to indicate where on the mood map you, you are. So mood is a mixture of two things. So we have going up, let's see, going up is how little or how much energy you have. And then also it's a mixture of moods as well, like how positive, how negative you're feeling and how positive you're feeling. And it's the combination of the two of them that give you your mood. So let's say, for example, me at this moment in time, I would place myself here, alert or mild, because I need to be alert because somebody just called me and um, if I didn't stop the call then I wouldn't be doing the Facebook Live. So I'm here in this area here um, and this is positive moods and high, relatively high energy even though my energy is not as high as it could be. On the other side we have our this is when you're feeling in a poor mood or low mood. Hi, Patrick, great to see you. So when you're feeling in a poor mood, so for example, um, we've got at the top here, when you've got high energy and you're in a bad mood, the common moods here would be stress and anxiety, panic. We see a lot of panic going on right now. And then coming down, if your mood is still poor and you're feeling low energy, this is where you'd be feeling more tired or depressed or bored. Now, our aim is to move you or for, for us to move ourselves from here over to here. Because when we move you over here, this is where, um, hi Jens, great to see you. This is where positive decisions are always made. So we encourage you and we put our map on earlier this week for you to map in. Um, some of you were feeling, some of you were feeling uh, uh, um, over here, so you're feeling peaceful and calm down here. If that was you, then please do write in or write below here, what was it that had you feel peaceful? What was it that had you feel calm? What was it that had you feel good? Because then in this, especially in this current climate, we want to share the love, whatever it is. You know, whether it was, um, I don't know, a promotion or some really good news or, or some exercise or what was it that had you be over here? Um, please do share because, um, you know, the, the more of us that we can be over here in this moment, the better. Now, we noticed that from the quiz, uh, many of you were over here, especially here. So you were low mood and low energy. And particularly, some of you picked out overwhelm. Now, overwhelm is when there's so many things going on or you perceive there's so many things that you have to do, you just don't know where to start. And because of that, you start shutting down and your energy goes down where you feel that you're incapable of doing anything. And so if you're around here in this moment in time and you're feeling overwhelm, there's so many things that you can do. So the trick is to get to do many things as possible to get you over here. What I would suggest, first of all, is take one deep, long breath and hold it for as long as you can. And then when you feel that you can't hold it anymore, then let it out slowly and surely. Because what that will do, that will bring you from over here and it will bring you over to the positive side of the map. Now you might find that you have to do that two or maybe even three times, but after you've done it, you're going to be feeling in a much better state because when we're panicking and we're over here, 
or we're in overwhelm or we're over here, then not enough oxygen is getting to our brains. And because we're not getting enough oxygen, then the panic just spirals and spirals and spirals. And so immediately taking a deep, 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 deep breath and holding it for as long as possible, that really is the best thing to do to change your mood state. The second thing you can do is speak with a friend or a family member, somebody that you can trust, somebody that you can count on, because a problem shared really is a problem halved. And whatever you think is going on, whether it's about your studies and you're not quite sure what's happening because the schools are shutting down or colleges or universities are shutting down, all of that uncertainty that's going out, you're going on in the shops, you go out shopping, there's nothing there or uncertainty about your future. They've sent you home from work and you're not quite sure what's going on. Then you're in a zero hour contract. All of these things now are going to be pushing us over here. And then it's for us to do as many things as possible to push us over to the positive side so we can start thinking rationally and start making a plan. So first of all, I suggested taking a deep, deep breath because that will instantaneously get more oxygen to your, to your um, brain and then you can start thinking you'll feel calmer. The second thing, speak of a friend, somebody that's really understanding and compassionate, somebody that makes you feel good about yourself because in speaking with that person, that's going to change your mood state over here. The third thing I would suggest is to go out for a walk. Now, when I say go out for a walk, um, um, 40 minutes if you're an adult and up to an hour if you're, if you're a teenager, because research shows that when we're walking and we're taking exercise, it brings us into the positive part of the map. Now, I just lost myself. Let me just bring it back up again. Um, it brings us over here. So if we can do that, say, for example, for 40 minutes a day. So when I say 40 minutes a day, it doesn't have to be like a big trek of 40 minutes a day. What it does mean is that you can do it for five minutes here, five minutes there throughout the day, because all of that is going to release all of those feel good chemicals that will within two weeks push you over here and it will change your mood. In actual fact, it's a natural and present so those are three things that if you start doing now that within hours or you know will make an impact there's so many other things that you can do as well to move yourself from over this side to this side now a lot of you said that depression depression was a fixed thing so if you can see depression down here it's low energy and low mood um so you're you know you're feeling rubbish you're, you, it's 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 hard to motivate it's hard to move and a lot of you said that it's it's not possible to change if you're in that mood state and i would disagree with that because the science behind it is that when you're depressed there's more hormones and more chemicals such as adrenaline and cortisol being pumped out and that's what has it have you over here on the um, left hand side of the map but when you start doing exercise, you take the deep breath, you speak with your friends, you go out for a walk, you do things that make you feel good, you reward yourself with, um, you know, any treats. This, these all things, all of these little things will push you over here, listening to music, dancing to music, because what's going on is that the body is recognizing what you're doing and pumping out more chemicals such as, um, um, dopamine, serotonin, and all of these positive ones, and these have a positive impact on your mood. So try and see. Please write down something at, you know, anything, um, or, you know, if you want any advice, write down in the back be and, and keep me posted with that because I will guarantee that within two weeks you'll be out of this this stage as long as you're being good to yourself you're being kind to yourself you're rewarding yourself often and say for example if you're not in work and you've got a zero hour contract and you're freaking out because of that really be good to yourself you know and i know that there's not a lot of sun but you know walking out getting vitamin d all of those things will help and start making a plan and looking for other jobs because trust me like i've seen on linkedin and they are recruiting so check it out you know you've got the time use it wisely 
Now, some of you also said about psychodrama. You weren't quite sure what a psychodrama workshop is. Now, all this week, we've been advertising and showing you what we've been doing with our drama workshops in schools. It's been really exciting because usually we work with small groups of under 100. And this time that we've been working with um, over 100 young people. So it's been really something special. And psychodrama workshops are really great because the psychodrama enables that young person to um, to act out a situation that normally they wouldn't have acted out. Now, it's not easy being young in these times and the kind of topics that we're covering with our young people will cover being safe on social media and how to navigate through it. Um, how to cope with sexting. What do you do if somebody asks you to send you uh, um, a naked picture of yourself, for example? Um, social media, self-esteem, looking at, um, you know, how to deal with um, bullying and um, peer pressure. All of these things are really, really important. And all of these things we cover in the schools in our psychodrama workshops. And it's called psychodrama because many of the kids that we're working with have never before really come across these situations. And we use real life situations and ask the young people to act them out. And so they act them out in the way that they would like to act them out. And it is really spontaneous. And then the rest of the class will, will be watching and they'll be giving feedback. And, you know, from there, a young person would learn how to navigate. Now, you know, what, how would they behave if, for example, if somebody asked them to send a naked picture of themselves or a friend came to them and said, well, what should I do? Many of them haven't really acted out these scenarios, so they don't know what they would say in that context. But through the drama workshops, we cover a lot of topics that are current, um, a lot of topics that young people are dealing with these days that they don't really get an opportunity to explore with their family or their friends. And also as well, um, the mood map that I showed you before. Um, hi, Gizzy, the mood map that I showed you before, we use that and that underpins everything. And so young people often do an activity in the classroom and they'll check that they'll check in. We uh, make the whole room into a mood map um, with the different moods. So I'm going to just show you, um, I'm going to show you again what it is. So the classroom is divided into these four um, different sections. So we've got high mood over here. I mean, so high energy up here. We've got low energy down here and low mood over here on the left and then high mood and feeling positive over here. And the young people will go and check in in different parts of the classroom, um, depending on the mood that they're in, and also explain why. Because quite common in the classroom, at the beginning um, of a session, they may they might even be over here on the negative on on the negative side, and then afterwards they're feeling really calm or they're feeling good. It depends on the topic that we've covered, and it depends how how great they're feeling and satisfied satisfied that they're feeling they've got something of value for our workshops. So that's a little bit of information. So I really want to thank you this week for taking part in those quizzes because it's those quizzes that have enabled me to focus on the answers. So many of you thought that depression was a fixed thing and there's nothing that you can do if you're in that corner of the mood map and that isn't, that's incorrect things that you can do and I would suggest to you being kind to yourself as possible setting yourself many treats many rewards because once you're doing that and you're pushing yourself over here we're encouraging more of the flow of dopamine serotonin and all of those positive chemicals like hormones and neurotransmitters that have that are linked to our mood Secondly, some of you are saying that you weren't quite sure about psychodrama workshops and we've explained a little bit more. And, um, and th thank you for taking part in our... Um in, in measuring your mood and giving us feedback on that because we found out that even though some of you are feeling great and some of you are feeling positive and those of you who are please um, write into us and explain what is it that, that that's making you feel positive what's happened what is it that you're doing is it exercise somebody giving you some good news because then we can um, do the same thing or we can spread the love and the advice and um and finally that um 
I've forgotten what I was going to say now. Finally, about depression, that there is something that you can do. So start now. Start by taking a deep, deep breath and getting more oxygen into your lungs, letting it out slowly. You might have to do that two or three times. Then speak with a friend and with your friend, you can put a plan in action about what it is that, that that's having you feel down because, um, you know, problem shared is a problem half. And then take a little walk as well, because when you take the, the walk, then it's pushing you again over the positive side of the map. And it's also um, um, promoting your emotional intelligence, because we all know that when you're over here that's when the best decisions are made so if it's that job you're looking for or you're unsure about your studying or everything's uncertain please don't worry about it because nobody really knows what they're doing these are unprecedented times so i want to thank you for watching this video we'll see you on the next video and if there's any feedback or any questions you may have please do write them below thank you very much